A few weeks ago there was a story on the web about two Serbsky peddlers who went for peddling in Durban and had problem getting in touch with the Coast Guard because the touch screen on their smartphone didn't work. Here's the phone. We put it flat and we close it. And now let's see what happens when the phone gets wet. Okay. Now the problem with that is that all these drops that are on the screen, the phone recognizes them as a multi-touch. It's almost like uh, the protection that they, they have programmed in the phone not to engage in any, uh, any operation when it's uh, touching your ear. That's why the phone doesn't want to operate, because all these drops that are on the surface. Now, the way we, we go around this, it's very easy. You just have to make sure that before you close the pouch, you allow some air to go inside the cover, like this. Now there is some air inside, which will allow you to control the phone by touching only, pressing on only one point. Yeah, let's see what happens. So now the phone is wet. It was easy to slide. Now I'm in. Let's see Oscar's number. Yep, the phone is ringing. I stop the call. You can see that the camera, everything. I have access to other to my Andromondo app to start my pedaling. The phone works. I hope you found this useful. Oscar is phoning me back. How, how is it possible? <laughs> how is it possible? <laughs> <laughs> if you want more tips from Boyan and Oscar, subscribe to the YouTube and Vimeo channel. Apparently it's very easy. Boyan knows how to do it. I don't even know how to do it. But keep watching and learning. <laughs>